Hi guys and welcome to another video. In this video what we're going to be covering is which Ethernet or which, which LAN cable we should be using with an Xbox One. Okay, so first of all, what we're going to talk about is the uh, the different types of cables. So what cables we're talking about initially. So the main two types of cable are Cat5, which is this one here, and Cat6. Uh, there are other types of cables. There's Cat7, uh, there's Cat6A, there's Shielded, there's sort of variations. Um, but basically, these are the main two uh, cables. This is actually called, although we're calling it Cat5, it's actually Cat5E. Um, difference between these two cables is really just to do with uh, the sort of uh, amount of cable um, and the tightness of the twists on it. So I'll show you um, here. So you can see this one at the top here. This is the Cat5. So if you look at it, if I just break this one out, you can see this. The twists on it are quite loose, um, and all these cables are quite loose to twist. Um, but if you look at the Cat6, the twists are much tighter. So put them next to each other. You can see that the twists are much much tighter on the cable, and basically that means that there's more cable uh, in a sort of shorter space. Um, than there is on the Cat 5e. You can also see on the Cat 6 that there's this uh, sort of bit in the middle. This is basically a separator. It keeps all these twisted pairs away from each other, and that prevents crosstalk. And um, so it means that it should maintain its single for longer over a uh, over distance. Um, Cat 5e has been around for years and years and years, um, and it's basically it used to be the standard. Cat6 is increasingly taken over as the standard. It's pretty much what everyone would have installed most of the time these days in sort of office environments, etc. You wouldn't really see much Cat5e. It's still used quite a lot in the home because it's a very good cable. It's all very capable. So let's just talk about what these two are capable of. So the Cat5e capable of speeds of up to uh, 1,000 megabytes per second. So that is one gig per second, basically. So gigabit speeds. Um, this is Cat6 is up to 10,000 megabits per second, and that is 10 gigabit speed. So basically, it's quite a considerable difference. It's up to 10 times faster, um, but we'll look at now whether or not you actually need that. So first of all, what what do most people have in terms of internet speed? Well, internet speed is actually pretty slow. Um, the average in the UK is 16.21 or 51. I can never remember which one it is. Basically, that's the average speed for people for internet in this country. So if you think that this little cable here, this little Cat5 is capable of a uh, 1,000 megabits per second, then we're not even touching that, okay? Now, but obviously, people's internet speed does vary. That's an average. That's 16.51. So, you know, Virgin are offering up to 350 megabytes per second. And in some places, they've installed five as a home. Um, so they're getting speeds of over 1,000 megabits per second. Um, that's quite rare at the moment. I know York, for example, have got a lot of fibers at home. Um, the government are hoping to have it rolled out by uh, 2033. Um, but whether or not that happens is uh, to be seen. OK, so we obviously that's consideration. The cable is going to handle your internet perfectly well. But you might be wanting to do some sort of uh, inter-console gaming or something like that. So we need to understand the console as well. So the console has a gigabit port. So a gigabit port basically means a thousand megabits per second. And that's, I should say that all these speeds are up to its maximum. It's not a guaranteed speed. So a gigabit port. So you might be thinking, well, hang on a minute, that's the same as a Cat 5e. So basically this would match that port in terms of speed. But what if the cable's too long? What if, you know, if there's a problem or something? Um, should you have a bit more capability in the cable and maybe go for a Cat6, which is obviously very comfortable, um, comfortably above that with 10,000 megabits per second? Well, maybe, yeah. I mean, chances are the port is going to be a bit slower than the cable anyway, but we'll see. Um, but then you've got to think about, well, what actually are the demands of the Xbox itself? So if you're doing HD gaming, HD gaming, you're looking at around 10 megabits per second. That's what your speed, so the speed you require. And if you're doing 4K gaming, so on your Xbox S and your Xbox X, um, then you're going to be looking at around 100 megabits per second. So these are obviously averages, um, so, but that's the sort of speed you're looking comfortable at. So already you can see, if you've got the average UK speed uh, internet, which is 16.51 or whatever it is, uh, you know we're near that 100 megabits a uh, second required for uh, 4K gaming. You, even if you had your Cat5 connected up to your, um, to your router, you would find that you'd still have problems. So it wouldn't be the cable's fault, that would just be your internet. If you have got enough speed, so you've got the Virgin 350, obviously you can play that comfortably. I don't think you'd have any problems. This cable would be more than happy and the port would be obviously the same as well. So basically at the moment, if you're looking at 4K gaming, uh, then you don't need you don't need Cat6. Cat6 is sort of, you know, slight extra expense. 
but we're obviously always looking to future proof so if you're just going to be running a cable like cat5 and you're just running it like around your room loosely um and you're just plugging it in and it's just a temporary thing then of course use cat5 absolutely but if you're chasing out walls or you're taking off uh, putting cables behind skirting boards or in stud walls or whatever you're doing i would definitely recommend putting in cat6 because at the moment obviously we we understand that we're well within our capabilities of cat5 as a cable however let's future proof put in cat6 and you know that this cable is going to last a long time I don't think possibly, well, for many, many years, we're not going to have internet speeds of, of 10 gigabits per second. So this, this cable really isn't going to be tested. You might be thinking as well, we haven't really covered this. Why would you use an ethernet cable? Um, well, theoretically, Wi-Fi is as quick, as, if not quicker than Cat5e, actually. It's um, up to 1,300 megabits per second. That is theoretical speed. And there's so many variants on Wi-Fi. So whether, where the router placement is, you know, the sort of proximity to uh, your Xbox. Um, there's there's all sorts of things. There's things that can cause interference. So in terms of reliability of connection, I would always go for a cable because it is such a better uh, sort of guaranteed connection. Um, and with the Cat6, that would beat it anyway on, in terms of speed. Um, so that's it. So I hope you've enjoyed the video. Um, if you do, then uh, please like, um, subscribe to my channel and um, yeah, have a look at my other videos. Thanks very much.